Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to fill the blank spot in your image when you try to convert a video from vertical to horizontal. Let's check it out. All right, so we're in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now, we're on the edit page. As you can see, I have a project that is 1080 that is open, but my video is a video that has been made for Instagram story or TikTok, so it's vertical. So it just gave me some blank spot here on the side, those black spots that I would like to fill to make it a bit more clean and a bit more entertaining. To do that, it's gonna be very easy. I'm just gonna go over to the effect library and here in open effects, I'm gonna look for fill. It just bring a blanking fill. I'm just gonna take it and drag that directly on my timeline. And as you can see, it just filled the border with a blurry version of my footage and it just creates something that is a bit more dynamic and more interesting, in my opinion. You have a couple of options right here in the inspector. Here in fill extent, you can either stretch the image you can zoom into the image, which is in my opinion is the best option. It looks a bit more natural and a bit more clean, um, but you also have uh, the opportunity to do it manually if you want to do it manually. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna stay in zoom. Here in source, you can adjust the crop. So you can zoom into your image. You can crop left, right. If you untick that box, you can crop only the right or only the left. Let's just restart everything for now. Then you can do the same with the top. So here you can crop your image with the top. And that's pretty much it for the cropping. Let's just bring that back to how it was. So then fill extend, as I mentioned, uh, you can either stretch or zoom. Here in fill appearances, you can basically change the blend edges. So that just make the edges here softer. That adjusts the feathering. You can adjust the blur of the background. So if you don't want any blur, you can just remove completely the blur or you can put the blur to the maximum and we pretty much don't recognize at all that there is footage behind it, but it could be something that you look for. Let's just restart that again. Fade amount is basically an opacity slider that bring a solid uh, on top of the footage. Here you can change the color. Right here, we're gonna put it to black, for example. And it could be also something that you can look for if you try to accomplish a certain style. Then fill appearances, that's pretty much it. Then you can go down to drop shadow and basically here, it's just creating a shadow to separate your footage. I'm just gonna go back to fill appearances and bring it back to white so you can see the difference. Here, basically, as you can see, it brings like shadow on the edges and it can help separate even more uh, your footage from the background. That could be an option. You can adjust the drop distance. You can adjust the blurriness of it if you want something that is very spread out uh, with a lot of feathering or if you want something that is solid, you can do that directly here. And then the global blend is basically the overall opacity of that background. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.